<clears throat> what up, everybody? Your boy JC in the house. Everybody gather around. Shit, y'all y'all know what time it is. It's your boy JC in the house. But yeah, I'm gonna talk about today is some single mothers or even married women at that point don't get enough uh, recognition. Um, I just feel like a lot of single mothers uh, they tend to get looked down upon um, for being single mothers. A lot of guys will say choose better or <laughs> what's going on, Angela? Yeah, dude. But yeah, though, I didn't want to say, you know, like I said, a lot of times they get looked down upon. Um, talk about they're too strong, too masculine. Um, I just want to let everybody know that a lot of women uh, do deserve a good man. They do deserve a husband. Um, whatever reason, the father of your child has stepped out. But that's not really, that's not your fault. That's something he's going to have to live with. What's going on, Venus? What's going on? Sage, Tiffany, Tori, Dre, what's going on, everybody? Like I said, I mean, a lot of, what's going on, Mario? What's good, brother? What's going on, Sage? Like I said before, uh, we keep talking about, you know, choosing better, but like I said, you're a single mother because the father uh, doesn't want to pick up his slack. He doesn't want to be the man. And, damn, all these notifications. <laughs> I gotta leave. Okay, hold on one second. What's going on, Mario? I just want to say, uh, it's not your fault. You know, I feel like a lot of men, we have abandonment issues. A lot of times we don't have that stickability issue. And instead of degrading single mothers, we need to be applauding them for being strong, taking care of kids, uh, raising them, and just doing their part, you know. What's going on, Tiffany? What's going on, family? How's everybody doing today? You know. I just wanted to say, you know, we can't keep talking about, oh, they're too masculine, oh, they're too feminine, they're too masculine, you know, and we don't have enough men out there stepping up and um, being fathers, you know, let's get on them, let's get on absent fathers, uh, men who can rape children and have their seeds scattered but not there to, to help raise them and there to protect or provide for them, you know, that's the real issue I have, you know, not so much single mothers and stuff like that because... You know, a mother, a mother can only do so much. You can teach her, her boy so much. Um, a lot of stuff had to come from a man. Um, and like I said, it's not fair that she has to play both parts. And, you know, it's not fair. Angela said, doing both parts. Single mother shame for doing both, both, both parts. Yeah, y'all are, you know, because y'all have to be disciplinary. I get blamed if y'all, if the children act up, um, you keep blaming you keep blaming uh, single mothers for the destruction of the black family. And last time I checked, you know, the men are the heads. We're supposed to be the leaders. And we need to put that on our shoulders. Uh, why, our, why our community is, is in disarray. You know, we can't quit it, keep putting everything on a woman. We can't keep calling, us, or calling ourselves king leaders and keep pointing the finger. You know, I don't know what CEO, what uh, business owner keeps pointing the finger at the woman, you know. Like I said, we got to start, you know, loving our woman better, you know, as far as them being a single mom, you know, she does deserve love. She does deserve a passion. She does deserve somebody to love her and her kids because they are a package deal. You know, you can't love her and not love the kids at the same time, you know, and that's what I feel like. I feel like a lot of guys are missing that. And then the guys that are complaining about single mothers, they, they raised, were raised by one. You know, how can you dislike single mothers and your mom you see your mom do everything for you from picking up your clothes from uh taking you to school making your lunch your lunches back in the day so how can you sit up here and you know just get on single mothers and not talk about your father you know why not ask your father why he's not there you know instead of trying to get on a mother because she has too much to handle she has to work cook clean um Come home, take care of you, make sure you do your homework, make sure uh, the kids are doing right as far as doctor's appointments. Uh, and it's, it's just a lot of, a lot's on their shoulders. What's going on, Jordan? What's going on, Alicia? What's going on, everybody? Everybody gather around. 
But yeah, I mean, we got to take loads off, you know. We got to start, you know, trying to be stuff fathers to these kids as well, you know. Um, because I feel like a lot of men and women, as far as boys and girls, need a lot, a lot of men mentorship. And that's one thing that we're lacking as a community, you know, the mentorship. You know, we don't want to help raise our young boys. And then, yet we keep talking about, oh, they're being too feminine. Well, how about we, you know, pull, pull a brother to the side and like, hey, you know, this is what manhood is. This is, you know, this is how you're supposed to act. Instead of just trying to deem him when he gets to a certain age and he doesn't know about manhood. He doesn't understand himself. And that's the thing that a lot of fathers got to realize, you know, get into the homes. You know, I don't care about your situation with your child's mother. Um, do what you got to do to help raise your child. You know, y'all have to be eye to eye, but you y'all do need to have a... A mutual level of respect for one another and uh just make sure that y'all do what's best for y'all children you know a lot of a lot of people they they co-parent from different households i'm doing good brother how you doing jordan okay let me read what does angela got to say even if they wasn't raised by one they should have enough sense to respect someone who's caring for a helpless human being or without help she's there no no matter who isn't yeah, you're right about that, you know, I mean, and then the guys who was raised with by single mothers who don't really know who the father is, I mean, that should give you more motivation to, um, you know, pull people to, to pull uh, children to the side and like, hey, you know, I, I know you're going through, let me help you out. And it's kind of, if I'm making the sense to see all these absent fathers, especially when they grew up without the father, that should give me more motivation to be a better father, to be a better step parent to a, to a child, you know. Okay, Sage said, "What about single mothers who are raising children because the father is deceased, as if the society completely counts out?" Yeah, you're right about that. Like I said, a lot of times you be single mother because um, deceased, maybe bad relationship. There's all kinds of reasons why a mother is a single mother, and I don't think a lot of guys take that into account. So yeah, you're right about that. You know what I'm saying? You're right about that. But I just wanted to say, you know, about just men getting upset with single mothers, like, it really don't make no sense, you know. I mean, you have a preference, you want to date a woman with or without kids, that's cool, that's your choice. But if we're trying to put a woman down as far as you greater, that she's less of a person, that he's less of a human being just because he has a child, like, that's not, that's not even right. Like, okay, she has a child, okay, I mean... What does that have to do with her being loved completely, you know? What does that have to do with that? You know, they're a package deal. You know, yes, she's going to put her child first, and that's something you need to think about if you're going to try to date one. Like I said, you have choices. We have more choices than women. You can choose women with kids, without kids. That's your preference. But don't sit there and try to degrade women for having kids, you know. You, you keep talking about we all need to do better. Yeah, like I said, we do need to do better. But I'm just saying, we can't keep talking about everything's on the shoulders of the, of the black woman and she's strong and independent. Mario said, I like what you're saying. Yeah, we do need to do better. But I'm just saying, we can't keep trying to put everything on the woman like she, you know, like she's the head. You know, whatever we deposit into her was what she's going to reproduce. And that's what a lot of guys don't really understand. You know, they always want to have all these excuses. What's going on, Code Rod? What's good with you, man? What's going on, brother? They, they always want to make all these excuses why they can't see the child. Oh, the mama, she don't want me to see the child. Oh, oh, you know, the child doesn't like me. She's teaching the, the children to turn against me. I'm like, you got to man up and do what you got to do. Go to the court system and do what you got to do to see your children. You know, I don't want to hear all these excuses about... Your baby mother this, baby mother that. Just make sure you do your part as a man and make sure you give your child the love and uh, appreciation that they need and they do deserve, you know. And that's one thing that we're lacking as, like, a lot of men, a lot of fathers, you know, they feel like just, you know, sending a check each and every month is, is a parent and I don't know what that is. That's, that's done below the bare minimum. I'm good, Coach Rod. How you doing, brother? How you doing today? You know, Tiffany said most single mothers become mothers when they're teens. They they choose better, isn't moved. They can't expect the child to make great decisions. Yeah, he right about that. But I mean, even even too, we talking about choose better. A lot of times, 
Well, marry, you got married women that are single mothers, you know, just because you're married doesn't mean you're not doing stuff all by yourself. And, you know, you can't really dictate when a person is going to leave or come out, come in and out your life, you know, regardless if you're married, single. Um, you know, I still feel like a lot of times, even if one woman do get married, you know, the guy still, he's still kind of doing below average, trying to... He said, "Good point." He's still trying to do below average, so it's still not. He's still not doing his part, you know. He's still not being her halfway, and I feel like that's unacceptable. If you're gonna be, if you're gonna lay down with a woman, have a child, you need to be there a hundred percent. I don't want to see no half, half, um, half assing, you know, because you know you put so much time in your music career, your work, your business, your piano lessons, whatever it is that you're interested in, your sports, but you want to do the bare minimum when it comes to your own child. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, this is your, this is your legacy. This is what's going to be passed down years, years on, decades when you decease and you leave this world. And what, what's your legacy going to be? That's the thing. I try to drive on men. What's your legacy? You, you got all these kids, but it's like at the end of the day, what you want your obituary, obituary to say? What you want your, your, your life to reflect? And your children are going to be there to tell your story when you're no longer here. You know, what kind of dad you were? What kind of father were you were? Did you work, work too much? Was you one cheating on your mother? Was you a type of guy that in and out of the clubs and with this woman, that woman? Or was you in the house um, following your kids? and making sure that they were straight on point whether their schoolwork, their business, aspiration, was you that type of father. So that's what dudes got to really realize too, you know. We the head, we got to do better, you know, point blank. We can't keep putting the finger on the woman. It's our legacy and what we pass it down to the next generation. It starts with us. I don't want to keep hearing about, oh, black women this, black women that. What about us? What about us? It's about, it's about, it's about taking leadership, being owner, having taken ownership as well, you know, what what leader keep what, pointing the finger? You know, I don't know what leader, what boss keep trying to point the finger. He takes ownership and you need to take ownership. You have kids out here, you got and you got them scattered, do what you gotta do. You know, you you're not working, make sure you work maybe two, three jobs, you know. Get off Facebook, get off Instagram, get off playing video games. Do what you gotta do and wake up and do do for your children, you know. I guess that's the greatest asset right there, you know. Like I said, you don't want to work, and you don't want to protect a vibe for your children, then you're not a man. I don't care. I really don't care how much money you make. I don't care how much how much um, success you get. If you're not treating the woman right, you're not treating your children right, then all that financial stuff with your status is, you know, that doesn't really matter to me. I don't judge a man. I mean, I judge a man by his fruits, not by what he has. You know, you can have a house, a car, a business, but you're not taking care of your kids. You're not um, being responsible to the woman in your life, taking care of her. Then you're really not a man to me. You know, and that's that's just how I personally feel. You know, everybody has their own way of what manhood is. That's that's for that's what manhood is to me. Taking care of your responsibility, your wife, your kids. Despite you being in a relationship with them, you always have that bond with them. And that's one thing a lot of guys got to wake up and realize, you know. Quit just trying to sleep around with everybody. You know, you can love on one, one, one woman. Or if you choose to be with multiple women um, and you, you know, end up getting her pregnant, you make sure you're there for that child, you know. Not just sending the check. You're talking about own dad in the year or just showing up when you feel like it. Being a part-time dad, like, I have an issue with that, you know. Just do your, do your part as a man, you um, know. You know, take some stress off these mothers because they don't have to burn. They should have to burn all all the loads on their shoulders. You know. Um, but yeah, though, that's all I wanted to say for today. Hope everybody have a blessed day. Y'all check me out on YouTube, Facebook. Um, everybody, y'all have a blessed day. Peace.